today I got the magical bowling ball. The magical bowling ball. Hello guys, welcome to Film Mania. Considering how long Pawn Stars has been running on TV and the amount of customers they see on a daily basis, it comes without question that the cast members have gotten into some tricky situations. Some of the customers they had interacted with had to be banned from the pawn shop as they proved that they can't control themselves in front of a camera. We've tried to scan and present you with the 10 worst customers ever to be featured on the show. Number 1. Shoeless Joe Signature Turns Out to Be Fake This customer came into his shop with a book signed by baseball player Shoeless Joe Jackson, but Jackson was illiterate, so his signature is incredibly rare. Afterwards, Rick brings in an authenticator to see if the signature is legitimate. Unfortunately, the expert reports that the signature is likely fake. Look at the A. This A here he was struggling with. This one looks like a pretty normal A. Number two, customer reacts, My wife is gonna kill me! This man brought in a pistol he had purchased at a gun show. Seeing the potential for an interesting piece in his store, Corey called an expert in vintage firearms. However, the gun was not authentic and was a modern recast worth about $75. After the failed attempt, the customer yelled outside the store, My wife was pissed when I bought this gun. Now she's gonna kill me. My wife was pissed uh, when I bought this gun. Now she's really gonna kill me. Number 3. Rick gets tied down to a bad deal. This incident features a customer with a set of artifacts from an Arizona prison. Carrying a couple of balls and chains from Yuma Prison, the customer hoped to earn $2,000. Despite having some fake prison keepsakes, the strong box passed Rick's inspection, so he began negotiations at $400. But when it is revealed that the box is a fake, the old man replied to Rick saying, Now I can holler at you. I don't have good news for you. This is a complete fantasy piece. It's a complete fake. Number 4. Customer's Reaction Alerts Security Being familiar with Picoult's work, Rick knows that his statues are highly collectible and so he gave the customer's item a thorough look. Rick immediately becomes suspicious but since the artist is French, this confirms that the statue is indeed a reproduction. At the suggestion, the customer gets angry with Rick. As the tension mounts, the pawn shop's security guard begins walking toward the customer. Oh, you full of You know, well, it's all right, Antoine. I got it. I got it. Um, that's just what I see. Number five, customer used Chumley's music knowledge to scam him. When Chumley was the only pawn star in the stores, one customer came carrying a musical instrument Chumley knew nothing about. The musical instrument was a reproduction worth the fraction of what he was selling it for. However, Chumley didn't know this and ended up buying the instrument. After it became clear that Chumley was deliberately scammed, this customer was banned from the pawn shop and would never be served by them ever again. It's like plastic. Gibsons are covered in a lacquer finish. And this pick guard is totally wrong. Number 6. Rick bamboozled by con artist trying to sell his Austin. This con artist got another car to push his Austin onto the pawn shop parking lot so that when Rick would try to start the car up, it wouldn't turn on. He blamed it on something as small as the battery. He said that he was able to drive the car to the pawn shop with no problem whatsoever. Since this was an exponentially rare car, it was a great collector's item and the excitement of getting such an item invested Rick. I'm not going to negotiate. I will give you 100 grand. There's no money past 100 grand. None. Number 7. Diamond Thief Who Sold Fake Diamonds This customer ended up getting arrested and banned from the pawn shop after Rick Harrison lost all his money. Pawn stars have to enter every item they buy and sell into a database that can be accessed by the police. The customer came to the shop with earrings and looked sketchy but managed to answer all of Rick's questions and even managed to provide a receipt. However, the pawn stars didn't get to keep the item and as a result, the pawn shop lost $40,000 on this one purchase. Number 8. Thievery nearly thwarts a sale A customer brought in a shekel of tire coins that were used in the Middle East during biblical times. Seeing the potential for a historically unique item, Rick purchases the coin for $1,600. 
However, this win is short-lived, as an employee informs Rick that the coin may have been stolen, meaning that the $1,600 may have been spent in vain. What are you thinking? Uh, more like five. Five? Okay. You gotta be able to do better than that. Number 9. Customer loses temper after bringing fake item. This customer was banned from the pawn shop not for trying to scam the pawn stars, but simply because he couldn't control his temper. He came to the pawn shop carrying a Hudson Bay gorget, which is a piece of armor to protect the throat. The customer asked for $100,000 on the item, but Rick's counteroffer was only $1,000, which is the biggest lowball in history. After close inspection, it was found out that it was fake, but the customer lost it after hearing this, and he took the verbal abuse a little far. All right, what the f are you talking about? Number 10. Con artists try to buy ring at half price. This customer's plan was to pretend to be a professional jeweler and call the ring out for being a fake. It would in turn make Rick uncomfortable and pressure him to sell it at a much lower price. However, it backfired as when Rick reviewed the episode, the Pawn Stars decided that this was a scam and it was intentional and banned this customer from the pawn shop. That's it from us here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Click the like button to support us. See you next time.